the museum will be expanding into a new space today and in order to honor this occasion we are going to be doing some expansion based science experiments. Both of our experiments today are going to involve liquid nitrogen. And uh, Matt right here is uh, putting some liquid nitrogen into the trash cans. Liquid nitrogen has a temperature of negative 196 degrees Celsius. We're going to use some hot water to create an expanding mist. We have hot water in each of these buckets. Um, on the count of three, we're going to pour uh, water into the bucket. So three, two, one. The liquid nitrogen, when it came in contact with the hot water, it produced a vapor, uh, which then uh, quickly condensed back into water droplets, which you saw as a mist. Do you guys want to see another experiment? Yeah! We're going to have the expanding liquid nitrogen cause these ping pong balls to come raining down. We're gonna fill these two trash cans with hot water. I'm definitely gonna need uh, some safety gloves for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up these bottles with some of this liquid nitrogen. Yeah, so what you're seeing is a lot of this steam is coming off of this nitrogen. And what that is, is nitrogen gas. that is very quickly evaporating because this nitrogen is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit colder than the surrounding air. All right, and then we're gonna wanna tap this quickly. We're gonna toss it in. I mean, want to cover your ears. And there you have it. Um, the ping pong balls in the museum just expanded into its new space. What an absolutely amazing way to kick off the celebration of the expansion of the Museum of Discovery and Science. The museum is open 365 days a year, services over 400,000 visitors, and it's not easy. So thank you and a big round of applause for all of our, our staff and volunteers here. Today is exciting. This uh, has been a vision for a long time. Um, it was very important to me as CEO to find a way to kind of bring the museum outdoors because in Florida we can do that so they can enjoy physics and learn about science outdoors in our beautiful Florida weather. I think it's really important that kids learn you know, inquiry and being able to look at things around them and ask questions and then design uh, experiments and to test uh, what they see. So the science park's going to be part of the integral programming. So you know, when you come to the museum, you might come through and see a program, see an IMAX show. But now with the science park, we're going to have the new expanding science show on regular occasions. So it's just another show to come see and experience. So lots of different events happening all throughout the year.